Hey there, YouTube friends. Hey, want to show you a little something here. It's always nice to see parts that have actually failed rather than just talking about what they could look like or would look like or not. But real quickly, I'm going to show you up close here some details about a spark plug in its, in its cap here. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in here. So the threads of this, a lot of times you have uh, a piece on here for a solid stud that will you need to unthread on a lot of these metric vehicles. So you can see the threads there. Let's see if I can even zoom in a little bit better here. There we go. There's a good shot of the threads. And the cap needs to, you know, attach to that securely so that it's not going to vibrate off. First off, let's look at what I'm working with. I'm working with a V-twin. They vibrate more. So attachment, a battery cable, spark plug caps, numerous things where we should always pay attention, but we're paying a lot of attention. So when you put that you know, spark plug cap across there, you want to make sure that you have this type of clicking. Okay? Can you hear that click? And actually, when you pull it off, there should be some effort. Get the camera stable here. Well, here's one from the other side, and when I was putting it on, there's nothing. It just It's just sitting on there. Okay? So let's look inside here and see what a good one looks like and what this bad one looks like. Okay, so inside of there, down the back you can see that little, it's gonna be hard for me to, you can see that little wire, there's a good shot of it. That wire drags across those threads and that's what retains it, that's what stops it from vibrating off. Go ahead and look at this one. You can see it's actually not only is it getting a lot of crap in there somehow, you can see the corrosion, uh, which would have caused weak spark. It's just not a good fit, right? You can see the wire is actually gone. It's actually vibrate off. What probably, you know, you got to do a little bit of guessing here. What probably happened is, you know, a, a plug was put in or checked or whatnot, and the cap wasn't firmly on. It was more something like, you know, something like it was just set on there, maybe forgot about, didn't go back and do the full, you know, push on there, if you will. Because something, uh, you know, definitely went wrong there. There's actually, just so we're on the same page here too, you could see the boot that I took off of here, the weather boot. And this one had it on, but here's why this would be easy to overlook. You know, you're in a hurry, you're going, you're doing your thing or whatnot. You've got to double check your work. When you put these on, pull on them. I've got three of the four plugs here. And, and another thing that this is overlooked on this bike is it's a dual plug head. That means that we have plugs on both sides so with with just this one being bad this you know this cylinder was still getting spark and i mean unless you're on a dyno racing and looking at everything to the average person this isn't even going to be noticed it's just going to be uh, an oversight on this now obviously i would need to ride this bike repaired and then faulty and, and give you the ultimate feedback on that but i'm gonna feel pretty confident after 20 years of doing this that this dual plug head here you have that one plug uh not firing as well the if at all th most people aren't going to fill it but here's why i say another reason this is going to be overlooked if you look at the plugs and i apologize for not having the fourth one here it was left at the shop uh they were all the same so when I pulled these plugs and I honestly, you know, grabbed the, these caps to pull off here, I did not notice this. Okay, I didn't feel it. It wasn't something where I was like, oh, on disassembly, a lot of times we're going to overlook things. And that's the point I want to make at today is that it is so easy to overlook things as you're ripping things apart. We got to pay attention to what we're doing here. I didn't notice this uh like I said, on disassembly, but fortunately catching it before it goes out to the customer. So that's my little uh, tip of the day that I wanted to show you if you had never seen a spark plug cap up close and really knew the intention of that little wire. I've seen these caps where they'll actually vibrate apart and create a bad connection, and uh, that is just something I want to show you. It's always great to learn from broken and bad parts. So have a great night, whatever you're doing. Have a great 4th of July, and uh, keep wrenching. We'll talk to you again soon. Don't be afraid to share this, like this. Uh, feel free to donate to our cause, anything else. Uh, and like I said, have a great uh, American holiday. Happy 4th, everybody. Bye.